My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm doing a comparison video. <laughs> We're doing the Mac Pore Refiner Stick versus the Benefit Pore Professional. This is a sample size of it and this is the full size of this product. I have, I'm doing this because there is a video on my channel that happens to be quite highly viewed which involves me not talking at all and just applying them and <laughs> it's not very informative. It's very early in my days of YouTubing. So I thought it'd be fun to come here again today and show you the difference between these two. So the MAC Pore Refiner Stick is a product I bought when I was first getting into makeup. You can actually go to MAC uh, professional stores and pay like $150 and they'll do a MAC lesson. Maker also do this as well and it's redeemable on the products on the day. And this is how I ended up with some, some MAC products. <laughs> um, and this is where I picked that up on this day. I really liked it. So I do actually have quite a few pores, but I don't know, I'm never that bothered about them. You can see them here and here. I did put the Fenty Pore Filter Primer on just before. I wasn't really planning on filming this. So I'm going to go in with the MAC Pore Refiner Stick now. And let's see. The idea of this is that it will fill in your pores which are the little holes in your face. But people say that if you fill them in, then it can make them bigger, but I don't know, it sounds a little bit, it sounds a bit strange. And voila, you can sort of see. I just haven't gone near that pimple. I don't want to really want to uh, infect my product. But you can see how smooth this side looks now in comparison to this side, which is a bit holy. So, I like the MAC Pore Refiner because it's very light, easy to go on. And the Pore, the Pore Fashional from Benefit, which I just struggle to always say, comes out in like a little glob like this. There we are. And it's just like a bit, mm, it's a bit weird. So let's bring you in and hopefully you can see all those pores, all the holes in my face. So I'm just going to go in, this probably is a, maybe a bit too much. I think you're only meant to use like a pea sized amount. So there we are, the pore professional side and the Mac pore professional, the Mac pore refiner side. So looking at it from here, the Pore Professional has done a bit of a better job, but I think my preference still lies with the MAC. So realistically, I think these products are pretty comparable. And there's not much difference, except in the way that they apply and the consistency of the product. My preference always seems to go to the MAC Pore Refiner. I think that's just because it's a stick and it's just like, bam, bam. Whereas I always find just having to stick, put this out, put it on my finger, it's like just one too many steps. And that is why I tend to put, go for the MAC Pore Refiner instead. But I think either one of these could be good. If you're really worried about your pores, I don't think many people look at your pores, do they? I mean, if you do, like, good on you. I'm intrigued. Uh, let me know if pores are something that you really worry about. And I thought this would just be a fun, quick little comparison video. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to check out my channel if this is the first time here and see if uh, what I'm doing is something you like and you're interested in subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you so much. Um, thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it and I adore you. Mwah.